Well, this is the snapper all cleaned up now. The snapper Ninja with a big six horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine on it. I uh, just replaced a rope on. Don't really need to do anything else to this lawnmower. It actually looks much better than the one I actually have, except it's got some rust here and there, just surface rust from being outside. Rear tire is a little bit worn, but certainly the throttle cable is much better on it than mine. Replace this rope on here. It's got all the knobs on here intact, which my one I got now was missing a lot of these knobs and they had used duct tape to hold it together. Self-propelled drive wheel looks good on this one. I don't know if that's the original or not. Actually, it looks like new springs on here. And I topped the oil off in this. It was a little bit low, but now it's topped off. It looks like the oil is fairly clean in it. Not really crazy about these aftermarket spark plugs, but it runs. Primer bulb's a little slow retracting, but I'm not going to replace that and snap a ninja. Cleaned up pretty good. It's got the ninja blade on there. Which these work really great. They're actually too efficient. If you got really tall grass like I get this fescue, it just will keep churning and churning. It, particularly if it's wet, it'll end up clogging up. Is my experience with the natu uh, ninja blades. Whereas a gator blade would just spit it all out. So let's give it its last start here. This is what that two-piece rope looked like. Two different kinds of rope as well that I replaced here in the Snapper Ninja. So let's give this a start here. Looks really nice. a little bit of throttle. 